In this video, I show you how to change your Wi-Fi password. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end so the full guide to changing your password. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. I'm now on my desktop, but this guide is going to work on any device you'd like, including mobile and tablet devices. So the first thing you want to do is go and open up any web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome, and here we are. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're connected to your router. And then once you are, and if you didn't know to log into a router, we need to go and find an IP address for a router to then go and log in, and we'll enter this in the URL bar. You want to go and find the IP address. In this top, I've gone and put a few corn IP addresses here, which you can try and enter to go and log into your router. You can also go and check the back of your router as well, and it may take the IP address there. If you still can't find your router's IP address, then there's another trick we can go and try. Now for this, you need to come either onto a Windows computer or a Mac, and you want to go and open up your command prompt. To do this on a Windows, all you want to do is go and press the Windows key and R, and you're gonna go and get this ROM pop-up, and you want to go and type in CMD, and if you're on a Mac, you simply want to go and search for terminal. Then go and press OK, and we're gonna go and get this pop-up, and it's gonna look very similar on a Mac as well. Then all you want to do is go and type in ipconfig, just like so, and then you want to go and press enter. And we're gonna get a ton of information. I'll have to blur some of this out because it is personal, but you, what you want to do is locate your default gateway, which for me is right at the bottom, and that is my IP address for my router. It is one of the default ones, actually, but yours may be something different. So once you then know that, then you want to come back to your browser and you want to go and type the IP in. So I'm just gonna go and copy and paste this one here and then go and paste it in just like so and press enter. Then I'm gonna make this full screen and here we go. I've now into my router login page. Now I just want to quickly explain about logging into your router. For the username, by default, it's often admin or username, and for the password, it may be admin or password. However, it's definitely worthwhile checking the back of your routers that may be there. If the ones on the back of your router still don't work, then try and click the reset button on your router. That's gonna completely reset your router, and then you can try these defaults again as well, and hopefully you'll be able to get in. If that still doesn't work, you should go and contact your internet provider. Personally, I've gone and set up my own password for this router, so I'm gonna go and click login. I'm now on my router's homepage, and everyone's homepage is gonna look slightly different due to different firmwares and different brands. However, I want to cover some basics of where you can go and find your password. If this tutorial doesn't help you, of course, you should go and check your router's manual but all you want to do is essentially locate the settings so you want to go to something like settings or network settings in my case and then we've got this big list here commonly it's going to be in wireless because it is the wireless password but it also may be in home networking or something like advanced so go and click on wireless just here it's going to take a minute to load and then once it loads we're going to get given a ton of options now for me, you need to go down to security level. So I'm just gonna go and scroll down now. And then down here, we've got the security mode, which I'm not going to change, but all I'm gonna do is go and click on this tick here, saying generate password automatically. And when I go and click on it, it's gonna allow me to go and remove this current one and then go and enter my own password. When setting your password, do make sure it's unique and safe because otherwise your internet may be accessed and authorized. And there we go. Then once you've changed it and you're happy with it, then all you want to do is go and click on apply. I hope this video did help you out. If it didn't, please put any questions down below and of course always go back to your router manual as well but hopefully i've covered a lot of the variables in this video i look forward to catch you in the next one peace